it's really important for people to know um, about the vaccination uh, rollout that the first dose and the second dose, both of them comprise what's called a primary series. So both of them are necessary. And why the second dose is so important is because you do receive a certain amount of protection following the first dose. But the second dose that you receive several weeks later actually helps your immune system to uh, mount a stronger immune response and for a longer period of time and affords maximum protection, not only to yourself, your family and your community members. One of the ways I think that that has been a little bit confusing for people is, is some even some public health officials or physicians have used um, or have described the second dose as boosting the effects of the first dose. And that has led, I think, to a little bit of confusion that people might understand the second dose as a booster shot when it is not. It's, it is important to, to consider that first and second dose as a series that you need to have together to achieve the maximum effectiveness. And a good analogy that uh, I can use for that is if you think of uh, a drumming circle, sometimes the circle starts off, you know, with the, with the lead singer, you know, beating the drum and singing on his own. And that's your first dose protection. But what happens with the second dose is all those other drummers and singers come that are sitting around the circle come in. And with all those voices and the beating together, you get the maximum you know, experience of that circle. And that's the same thing with the vaccines. That's why the first and second dose are so important. And we encourage all BC First Nations people to get the second dose when it's offered to them to complete that series. I think something else that people need to understand is the, the different levels of protection that the vaccine provides. Uh, not only does it pr protect you from uh, contracting COVID-19 illness or the serious outcomes associated with COVID-19 illness in some cases, including hospitalization. But getting the second dose also decreases the chance that you will unknowingly transmit the virus to others. And when we think about how and why we want to protect the people around us, we think about the people that we care about, our families, our communities, and our elders. And you know, partly why we're encouraging people to get this second dose is to help all of us achieve what we're calling community immunity, which means that the levels of transmission of COVID within our communities becomes so low that it, it no longer transmits or has the chance to transmit from person to person. And one of the ways that I've tried to encourage people to do this uh, to get vaccinated and get that second dose is to remind people that we are, we have been water protectors, we've been land protectors, but in this case, in the case of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are people protectors. Mm -hmm.